O'Shea and I have been kicking it strong for a minute now. O'Shea doesn't drink. He doesn't smoke. O'Shea is a professional model. Attitude like a young O'Shea with an AK. Okay, don't you tell these motherfuckers that my name is O'Shea. Let's go. There we go. Why? Wow, what's happening? It's Platinum No Limit Rap Artist, Mr. Servon from the historic No Limit Records under Master P, man. Nation of Podcation, man. If you're not on the Nation of Podcation, you really with that hateration, man. So... That's what it is, man. Y'all know what Let's it is. Let's talk about Soldier Slim. Soldier Slim, uh, R.I.P. You know, he's one of those those artists that, you know, his death kind of rocked your city. So, yeah, let me know how, how you know, how that hit you. And then uh, about the beef that he supposedly had with Master P before he passed. Oh, man. Um, that, that hurt a lot, man. You know, people say, okay, he was in New Orleans as Tupac. He was Soldier Slim. There was Pac and there was Slim. You know what I'm saying? Nice. There's no disrespect to Pac, of course. Pac is, Pac is my, that's everything to me. Nice. That's, that's number one, you know, of everything to me. But he was his own, you know what I'm saying? And he was everything New Orleans was. You know, he, he you know, the soldier thing, everything, man. You know, he, he was, see, people like to look at it. Oh, see, he was a thug. He was a gangster. Man, no, nah, he was Miss Linda's son. He was, he was a, he was a good son. He was a good brother, you know, you know, to his, to his siblings, you know what I'm saying? To his sister, excuse me, you know, and he was, he was, he was good to, if he with you and you do something, right? And you, and it's like, you down bad for that. He gonna ride with you no matter if you down bad or not, but he gonna tell you about it later. <laughs> you know, he wasn't always in the gangster. You know, he wasn't always like everybody thinking he just was 24-7 thugging, shooting everything, doing this, acting crazy, running up on people. My dude was in the studio. He was a good dude. He just had a heart that, you know, like Pac heart. I'm not going to back down from nothing. And if you into it, I'm I'm with you. You my round. I'm rolling with you. Right. He was a good dude, man. And I met I met him through KL because he was really one of KL first artists, like, you know, that KL really was dealing with. And they were like Dre and Snoop. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And so, you know, and I, I met him, man, and, and, and it was hurtful because either he was in jail or, you know, just in the things where he could never. He said in the song, if he could just stay out, he could keep to get his spot, you know, and and his talent, man, and his mindset. See, people, all they think is about him as a thug, man, and all this other craziness, man, and gangster and all that. And everybody got gangster stories to tell about him. Right. Man, that dude was very intelligent, I sat down and had conversations. We just sat down. I'm talking about deep conversations about life. You know, smart dude, man. His mama, Miss Linda, most beautiful soul, man. You you know, when I see her, man, I'm, you know, I always hug her and, and give her a kiss. But I always walk away hurt because I'm like, man, she, her, Biggie Mama and Pac Mama is not here no longer. You know, and, and so many other rappers, especially ones that was big and had an impact. It hurts me, man, when I see their mother. Facts. Like, wow, they took that woman's son. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, it, it, he was different, man. He, he it, But he was so intelligent. And I think if he would have been able to live, what he was about to do with that label and how he was going to do it, he wasn't just about thugging all the shit y'all see. That dude was smart, man. Funny as hell, but smart, very intelligent, man. I don't like when people talk about the, you know, the drugs and all that. And he was on, man, I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? Because, okay, if you heard about it, yeah, in his song, he, he lived what he said in his songs. But he wasn't around here dipping off and nodding and, and out of it, laid around, clothes all toe up, never. Right. So I don't like when people do that, you know. And, and, and I wish a lot of them would have got to know him in the ways I got to know him. You know what I'm saying? And things like that. But, I mean, he, he was a real man. He was a man's man. And at the same time, he was a beautiful son, a beautiful brother. You know what I'm saying? You know, and 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 he was down for his... He was one of them, though, when people talk about, man, I'm down for my niggas. I'm down for this, that, and that, and that. Him? See, murder? You could do whatever wrong, bro. And be dead wrong. They're going to ride with you. No matter what. You know what I'm saying? And, and we'll give you their last. You feel what I'm saying? And that's what I wish some people talk about him, not just the gangster shit. Now, the part with, with P, you know, I feel like it wasn't as as much as people say, you know, as far as like, okay, Slim spoke his mind on his song, right? And P 
being P, P is not going to say anything. He not, he the type, P is, P, P come from the old school where, you know, we are holler when we see each other. Right. I'm not going, I'm not going to talk this, that, and that, and that. And I think, you know, and he, he knew Slim was speaking his mind and felt like about this, about money and whatever else they beef was, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, in my heart, man, I just kind of, just hearing all of that, I, I don't even like hearing, not from you, I'm saying the stuff that I hear, like, you know, what could have been or who did what and this, that, and that, and that, man. I don't even want to imagine it, you know, because I, I just don't see. Because when it, when it all boiled down, bro, them two, them two, man, I'm going to tell you like this, man. They were two people where P liked it. P liked who he was. You know what I'm saying? And, and P, P was a businessman, but P still had that project in him. Like, I like that type of shit. I like how he is. And let him be him. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, and I think that it was almost to me like a little brother and a big brother just having their little issues. Okay. And I wasn't around. I was gone away from No Limit by then. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you know, but, you know, they beef, I think. I don't even think it was beef to me. It was just Slim speaking his mind. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and things like that or whatever, we're not on songs or whatever, and how he felt and what he felt maybe, you know, Business wise or whatever or not, and I think that's what it was to me. I don't, I don't look at it as, oh, they had beef. You know, I know what beef in New Orleans look like. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So.